This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. So I just had one of the most fun nights out yesterday and we got home at around 4 a.m. and for some reason we still managed to get up today to go to Melrose. <laughs> we eating good tonight? With what? Show, With show, our, them, show them the so since they were literally just throwing money away, we were like, hey, why not, right? And we used the money we gathered to eat at a Thai restaurant at like 3 a.m. On Saturday nights, we get lit, but on Sundays, we're wholesome. We go to flea markets, we get coffee, we get brunch, you know? So that's the vibe for today. We're gonna be going around Melrose. We're gonna be going to Alfred. I'm pretty sure you guys know what Alfred is if you guys are on Instagram or if you watch vlogs in LA. They recently opened a Glossier store on Melrose and I wanted to show you guys. And then we're gonna be going to the Melrose Trading Post afterwards because it only happens every Sunday. Do a little bit of thrift shopping. Hopefully we find good stuff because sometimes they tend to overprice the items there. Like the last time I was there, um, stuff were expensive but when they were about to close, like I noticed they lowered the prices. So we might go when it's around around closing time already like around 4 30 or 4 because it closes at 5 so we might do that like that is a technique for you guys if you're like thrifting in Malrose Trading Post or Rose Bowl go when it's almost closing so that the prices drop it's not that cold today I'm just wearing a tank top but I'm gonna be bringing a jacket just in case because I don't want to like freeze because I think we're gonna get dinner also later tonight before we get on with the rest of the vlog I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for anyone looking to create a beautiful website it provides software as a service for website building and hosting and allows users to use pre-built website templates and drag and drop elements to create and modify web pages. If you're a business owner or if you're someone who's looking to build your portfolio, I feel like Squarespace is the most convenient and accessible way to create a website. Basically, Squarespace gives you some templates that you can use to personalize your website to whatever you need. I feel like this is the perfect next step to be able to expand your business, expand your portfolio if you're a creative person, a photographer, or if you're just someone who wants to have a whole place that you can just compile your works at. It's just so easy and I couldn't recommend it enough. So if you guys are interested in Squarespace. I actually have a link on screen and in the description box down below that you guys can use for a free trial and I highly recommend you guys check it out. So thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and I'm gonna get on with the rest of the vlog. I'm gonna be bringing this tote bag. Also if you go to the Melrose Trading Post or Rose Bowl, I think they prefer cash. So if you're gonna be going there, make sure you bring cash. I'm really excited to show you guys everywhere on Melrose. Not everywhere but the Melrose area because it's one of my favorite spots here in LA. I'll see you guys when we're on the way to Melrose. I wonder if the owner of Alfred lives up there. Like, they just live there and then they go down to work. I'd love to see And then we're gonna walk to the Glossier store. They also have Alfred there, but I wanted to take you guys here to the original one. I wanna pass by the Alfred here. Okay, let's just go around. We just 
decided to walk to the Alfred Tea Room which was just a block away and here they sell different kinds of boba and tea instead of coffee. So we made it to Alfred Tea Room. It's just right across the Alfred's Cafe, coffee shop. We're gonna walk to the Glossier Alley now and look what's around there because I'm pretty sure it's like new. Guys, the Glossier store on Melrose was huge and they had all the Glossier products in store for you to try and test out before making a purchase and everything was so aesthetic like every angle of the store was aesthetically pleasing and it was so pretty that you could literally just go and visit to take cute photos around the store. Glossier has always been one of my favorite makeup and skincare brands not just because of their aesthetic but also because of how inclusive they are. They have products for everyone, and I love how they promote enhancing our natural features instead of altering them. C'est l'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois. Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée d'avancer solo, de poser sur quelques mots, accompagnée d'un petit mm, rouler avec son parent certain dit un certain homme de. Right next to the store is the Glossier Alley, which is a new thing that Glossier came up with and it's basically a place where you can hang out and just relax and they also have an Alfred ranch inside so it makes it the perfect place to just chill and relax after shopping. So we just finished at Glossier. It's so cute. Like, look how big the store is. We're gonna pass by the original Glossier store on Melrose in a while, and I'll show you like the difference of the size. Cause this is huge. I love Melrose because there's lots of like little stores and boutiques. So this used to be the old glossy store, I think. One of these, like I think it was this one. I remember we had to like line up here outside just to get in there and it would be super packed. So now it's like really huge. So here's the famous Paul Smith pink wall. Um, it's just like a pink wall. Do you want a picture? <laughs> we headed to the Melrose Trading Post right after to do some thrifting. Thank you. Thank you. The Melrose Trading Post is similar to the Rose Bowl Flea Market where a bunch of different sellers set up their booths and sell different things. The Trading Post has stalls for vintage clothing, unique accessories, trendy pieces, and even home decor. I love shopping in flea markets because you get to see the different personalities of every booth and how their owner has their own style or taste that they curate into the pieces that they sell. It makes it really fun to look around and see the different gems people have collected throughout the years.
Apart from vintage pieces, they also sell some brand new items such as these accessories that you see all over Pinterest and they also have a bunch of these cardigans which I'm pretty sure you've seen all over Instagram as well. They're kind of overpriced though. I'm pretty sure you can get these at a better place for a more affordable price and I love how they also have a bunch of different home decor, denim. I swear, I've seen so much denim Levi's here at the flea market. <laughs> There's also a bunch of different stalls that focus on streetwear, so every stall is different which I like, so you kind of get a general idea of what you're gonna find in every stall or booth that you go to. So I just put on my jacket because it was getting cold already but we just finished at the Melrose Trading Post. It's 5.06 p.m. and the sun is already gone. But yeah, we're just waiting for our lift because we're gonna go to Westfield Century City and we're gonna meet up with our tita there to have some dinner. It's so hard when like you don't know how to drive or if you don't have a car in LA because everywhere here you need a car, like you need to drive places and stuff. So it's kind of hard. We're kind of hungry because we just ate like waffles today. We didn't eat anything else. I don't know where we're gonna eat. Okay. Is it near? Near. I think it's. Best mascara ever, guys. This Ilya mascara, the wand is super thin, it looks like that, so it gets through every lash and it doesn't clump. I really want to try their other products too, like the packaging is super cute. all of the stuff that I got from the trading post honestly I didn't really get a lot of items because the trading post can tend to be overpriced like for Levi's jeans they would go for up to $80 or for like vintage varsity jackets they would go for up to like $100 and I noticed that the Melrose Trading Post is a lot more expensive than the Rose Bowl Flea Market so that's something to keep in mind but the Rose Bowl Flea Market only happens once a month on the second Sunday and the Melrose Trading Post happens every Sunday. They did have like some $10 racks or some $5 bins so that's where I got some of my items. So the first item that I found is this yellow cardigan. I've been wanting to try wearing yellow a lot more so I got this one. I don't know if it's weird to thrift bralettes but for me I don't really mind because I'm gonna wash and sanitize them anyways so I got this one I feel like it's gonna match really well with this cardigan and then like some mom jeans like just like blue denim mom jeans it's not my size though it's like really big I don't know if you can tell but um, the way I'm planning to wear it is just to tie it in the back so it like adjusts to be my size and it's cute I love it those are the only clothes that I got from the trading post but I also got one more item Ooh, I got a home decor or room decor piece because spoiler alert I'm gonna get my own room suits I'm so excited I've been buying so much like furniture so much like room decor pieces so I got this mirror it's just um a wall mirror it says you look good it also came with like wall stickers or adhesive so cute like to take like selfies on i think it would be fun and this one was ten dollars um i don't know if that's overpriced but for the trading post it was kind of affordable i also have some stuff from glossier that i wanted to show you guys because 
I went to the Glossier store on Melrose. The store is so aesthetic, like you can literally take pictures in every corner in the store. So I milked that shit. I got their Ultra Lip and they gave me this huge pink pouch. I love Glossier's Ultra Lips. They're so moisturizing and so hydrating and the colors are so nice. And it looks like this, the packaging is so cute. And then I got it in the shade Villa. It's just like your nude pink, like my lips but better. I just got one of them because I have like so much of these already. I just wanted to have a restock. And then I got, like I think this is their best seller set or kit. And it just has a lot of their like best selling products that you can try out. It comes with the priming moisturizer, milky jelly cleanser, a boy brow in the clear shade, mascara, and a mini rosebomb.com. That's everything that I got from Glossier and I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or morning or afternoon wherever you are and I will see you guys next week for another vlog. Bye guys!